Hello and welcome to Linear Algebra. My name is Gregory Moses. I am your professor for this course. And the aim of this video is to help orient online students and make sure you can find everything that you need to find in order to be successful. Here's CSC Online, where this course is hosted. We are in Linear Algebra, and you're watching this video from the course home. If you look at these links over here, you'll find announcements. I usually post one announcement a week just summarizing what we've covered. And then I post announcements when tests are coming up. And if something unusual happens, like if classes are canceled for weather, stuff like that. You can find links to our assignments. I'll talk more about this in just a moment. Our calendar. Um, homework due dates will appear on the calendar. Our forums, we don't require you to go into the forums, but you can use these if you have questions about the homework. And I'll talk about that a little in a moment. Or grade book, where you can see your grades. Messages, I just said, you can ask questions in the forums. You are also free to email me. This is an embarrassment of riches. If you wanted another way to get in touch with me, you can send me a message using the message tabs. And then this is just, you know, if you need help with CSC online. It's nothing to do specifically with our course. Let's go back to the course home. The course home is the hub that you'll use to get to the learning material I have hosted on CSC online. If we scroll down a little, here's where this video will be. Under getting started, if you want to know a little more about me, you can click on this link. Course orientation is maybe a little deceptively named. This was set up by our teaching and learning center, and it doesn't have anything to do with our course specifically. It's where you can find more generic information, like links to our technical support. Following that is our syllabus. You certainly should read that when you have a chance. And following that, our learning material. These open week by week. So at the moment, you'll only see the week one material. But Monday, the 30th at midnight, week two units will open, and so on. Units open up midnight on Monday. Let's click on one of these links and see what we have. Now for online learning, it's assumed that we're going to be reading and studying the textbook. We use David Lay, we're in the fifth edition, but I know that reading math textbooks can be a little intimidating. So I try to include plenty of supplemental material. We've got videos, transcripts, notes, audio recordings. So I hope that if anything in the textbook is giving you trouble, you can come to these units.
notes and find a clearer explanation of whatever it is that's confusing you. And of course, if you don't, if something in the textbook confuses you and that you come and watch videos and read notes and you're still confused, just shoot me a message, send me an email, post in the forums, we'll get it all cleared up. Let's go to the end of this page and let's talk about homework. Ordinarily, every unit has one textbook assignment. Um, in the first week, we have a, an additional assignment. I introduce myself to you under the getting started heading. So I'd like you to introduce yourself to me. That's fair. Um, the forums, as I, there are no forum assignments or anything like that. If you attempt section 1.1 homework and you have trouble, you can't do problem five or whatever. You can go to the forums and ask for help with that problem. And I'll check the forums once or twice a day. So I should get back to you fairly quickly. That's going back to this section. Let's click this assignment. You'll find the problems you're supposed to do keyed to the learning outcomes of the unit. And you'll do these problems on a sheet of paper. At least that's certainly what I would suggest. I don't think you should try to typeset these or anything. And then you'll scan that sheet of paper or photograph it and you'll upload that file to CSC online from here. Just click the link, select whatever you want to upload. You can't upload more than one file at once, it looks like, but you can upload load more than one file. And then you press submit and you're done. I would ask that you be considerate to me, like if you're photographing your homework and it's multiple pages, I'd ask that each file be given a clear name so that I know what I'm going to be looking at before I click the link. Now, the way due dates work, it's week one, so you have these units to do. The, that amounts to three homework assignments, one for each unit. And ordinarily, all of those homework assignments would be due at the same time. They would be due Tuesday of the following week, so Tuesday of week two at 11.55 p.m. Now, for the very first unit, you see that homework assignment has a different due date. That's for technical reasons. I'm going to be asked by administration which of my students are doing work. And if I have any students who aren't, so I need an assignment that's due um, this week so I can answer that question. 
But other than that, they're due Tuesday of the following week. I'll accept them till Thursday at a penalty. Let me see. Anything else? Yes. One last thing. So you see, we have our anticipated test dates. Um, tests are not taken on CSC Online, tests are taken with a proctor. So libraries sometimes offer proctor. Proctoring. Community colleges often offer proctoring. If there's a testing center near you, um, it's my philosophy to be accommodating, though. I mean, I don't suspect my students of cheating if there's nothing like that nearby, but you have a supervisor or something. Maybe you're a teacher and you want to use your principal as a proctor. That's fine. I've had a few students who just absolutely could not find a proctor. It was okay. We worked things out. So don't stress out about it, but maybe you can start giving a little thought to the question of who I can have proctor your test. So somebody I can send the test to who will administer it to you and then return it to me. Other than that, I think everything is found in the syllabus. So read that. If you still have questions after watching this video and reading the syllabus, then you can take the opportunity if you go to the forums in this introduce yourself, um, assignment. You can ask any questions you have in your self-introduction, and I'll answer them for you to the best of my knowledge. I am. Um, and with that, I think you're in a position to dive into section 1.1. I hope that you enjoy this course and find the material rewarding. And again, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just shoot me a line.